operate post more than most, Graham. Why is that becoming rarer these days, you think? Well, with modern zone defenses, it's easier to help and catch the ball handler off guard. So today's post scores have to possess vision to be truly effective. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. We've got Dwight Howard, Russell Westbrook out there with Malik Monk. Then there's LeBron James, and it's Gabriel in at the small forward position. Here's McCollum against Chicago. He was really on his game. Jones with the ball. Picked up by James. Clock at four. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Fires in the triple. Able to score without the ball. Great setup and knockdown by Devontae Grant. Monk finds Howard. A shot from the low post is good got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Graham. Down low. Here's Valanciunas. Ooh, Howard with a block. Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to sender is what he stamped that one with. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. About a minute played here so far in the first. Now Los Angeles with it. Monk passes to James. Back to Monk. And here's James. Howard with a screen on McCollum. Here's James. McCollum with a steal. Graham against Westbrook. Here's Jones. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. Devontae Graham, very underrated as a playmaker. You know, he's finished top 10 in the league in assists. James, outside. Pass to Howard. Outside Monk. Down to five on the shot clock. Over McCollum. And the basket by Monk. How about the level of concentration Monk has? Despite the defense being all over him, he doesn't rush or get overwhelmed at all. Stays calm. Like a lot of young players, B.A., it took Monk some time to get going, but he's found his stride in the NBA now. Now here's Graham. Back to Jones. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. James passes to Howard. And he lobs it up. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. You know, Clark, with Malik Monk, you can see the improvement he's had. Yeah, it's about efficiency. We knew he could put the ball in the basket, but now his shot selection has improved, and I think he's gotten better as a ball handler, too. Now here's Jones. Outside Graham. Pass to McCullum. Three-pointer. That shot is off. And Los Angeles the other way now. Last time, they met in Los Angeles. This time around, they're looking for better execution offensively. They have to avoid mistakes. And it really was the turnovers that fueled the blowout. I mean, a lot of questionable, poor decisions by them with the ball. And when that happens, you can get blasted. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Here's Jones. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Great job drawing the foul. And almost converted the shot as well. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. Shooting two. And he drops the first. The Lakers making a switch here. Horton Tucker's checked in.
So he gets them both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Pass to Westbrook. Now Howard. Tries again. Chalk up two there. Howard's gotten his second bucket. So hard to corral Howard. I mean, even when you try to rough him up and get physical with him, he still just is able to play through it. Now here's McCullum. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Graham with it. And Howard picks him up defensively. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Howard with a screen on Graham. Westbrook, the pass to James. Over Hayes. Count it. One for one to start the game. You know, really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance. I mean, especially in these sets. Graham goes in. Oh, what a finish in traffic. My goodness. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. The Lakers trail. Westbrook, the pass to Howard. Here's Horton Tucker. Westbrook outside. Pass to Howard. Monk for three. Cut X from downtown. Monk's got five. Nothing quite as good as seeing Monk shoot that three ball. I mean, fantastic. Measuring those long range shots up and knocking them down. McCullum against Monk. McCullum, the pass to Graham. Pass to Valentunas. Here's an eight-footer. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. Graham's got three assists now in this one. Hayes against James. Monk with it. There's the three. And it's Graham with the rebound. Outside Jones. Back to Graham. Tipped. Westbrook, the pass to James. It's Monk on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Pelicans cleared away. Outside Jones. Pass to Graham. Let's it go from the wing. Alan Tunis, oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. James, outside. Some solid defense from Hayes. New Orleans has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Graham. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. As a player, Clark, it must be hard to keep your emotions in check on opening night. Yeah, more of a relief than anything else, B.A., especially after you've been around for a couple of years. I only played the equivalent of five years, so I only Shoot had two. a handful of opening nights, but always special. And even as a broadcaster, I think it's exciting to see the start of a new season because that hope that everybody has is palpable. Devontae Graham was one of those rare four-year college players, and he had an incredible second season in the league. Averaged over 18 points and seven assists per game, proving he's an NBA-caliber guard. Hernan Gomez is checked in for the Pelicans. Nance comes in for Hayes. And both free throws good for Graham. Here's Monk. 23 points his last outing. Pass to Reeves. Now here's Anthony. Outside Monk. Shoots over Nance. The shot, no good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. McCullum, pass to Graham. McCullum with a screen on Anthony. Back to McCullum. He shoots it. And too long on the shot. The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 so far. To the wing on the left. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. 
All right, look here at the passing numbers over the last several months for Russell Westbrook. His assist numbers haven't been where we'd expect them to be over the past few months, and I hope that worries him too, because his ability to create assists is a big part of what makes him a complete offensive package. Now, here is Howard. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. And he did his part from the line. Drew fouls and made them count. Augustine, he's checked in for Monk. He's covered by Augustine. Pass to Murphy. McCullum on the wing. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Five to shoot. Drilled from 11 feet out. And the Pelicans lead by six. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Anthony. 20 points for him last game against Philadelphia. Pass to Reeves. Lays it up and banks it in. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. McCullum outside. And here's Hernan Gomez. Nance outside. He's covered by Augustine. Just five on the clock. Murphy's shot is good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Now, here is Howard. The D's right on him. Anthony in the post, working on Nance. Oh, stolen by Nance. Now the Pelicans in transition. Shots good by McCollum. And now an eight-point Pelican lead. Oh, I love how McCollum moves in transition. Just has a strong sense of where to position himself. Here's Horton Tucker. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Howard inside. Hernan Gomez there. And there's a three-second violation. Second and second chance points. Third and rebounding. And they ended up in the top ten in shooting percentage. A nice place to be. They did a nice job of running their offense. And what saved them in a lot of games, the second chance points. They were relentless on the offensive glass. Nance outside. Back to Hernan Gomez. Four on the clock. Back to Nance from behind the arc. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. You know, you talk about best kept secrets. Taylor Horton Tucker was the youngest player in the 2019 draft and was taken 46. Looks like he's a steal. Nance outside. McCullum right side. That bucket makes him three for five. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first quarter. And Horton more than meets the eye. 6-4, but with a 7-1 wingspan. Well, he's got one of those typical great basketball bodies, right? No neck and arms forever. Not to mention the huge hands and tremendous basketball instincts. I love watching this young man play. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's Augustine. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Horton Tucker. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. One fourteen left in the first quarter. Pass to Hernan Gomez. McCullum outside. Rebound by the Lakers. Howard's got a rebound number five here tonight. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. In third, New Orleans. Well, I tell you what, they never eased up on the boards throughout last season. I mean, they were tenacious. They persevered. They were aggressive. I mean, they went after the boards hard. down the first one. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And he makes the first but misses the second. New Orleans in the lead. McCollum on the left side. Pass to Hernan Gomez. He's covered by Augustine. Back to Hernan Gomez. Six to shoot. That's the screen. McCollum. From the top of the key, he buries it. McCollum's got eight points. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Anthony against Nance. Anthony, the pass to Howard. Here's Horton Tucker. Shot blocked! They get it back. The shot by Howard, no good. I'll tell you what, coaches and teammates alike love that kind of effort on the defense. Good job by Augustine. C.J. McCollum has been leading the charge for the Pelicans. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Back after this. And here in the early going, LeBron James seems pleased with how his team is settling in. Sure. Um, you know, we had some, uh, you know, just early getting back into the flow of things, which every team in the NBA goes through that. But, uh, you know, what coaches ask us to do, we've done it. We've done it at a high level, and the other one is coming in great shape. Uh, guys look good. Uh, they're performing well. Well, Grant, high expectations for sure. Well, any team with LeBron James on it, you're going to have some high expectations for sure. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Pelicans? You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. 
One other thing we've seen them execute to this point is good ball movement to set up those easy scoring chances. They've got Hayes. He's out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Marshall in at the three spot. So that's a group out there for New Orleans. Now here's Anthony. Westbrook outside. Shot from the wing. And again, the Lakers, no good. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Hayes, the pass to Valanciunas. Outside Jones. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul of the game. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Pass to Jones. Five on the clock. Takes a three. Well, excellent job that time by Westbrook to challenge without foul. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Here's Reeves. Second chance shot. And it's Anthony with a bucket inside. Anthony's got five. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Pass to Valanciunas. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Now there's the strength we talk about often with Valanciunas. It helps him convert on these physical takes. He buries it from three. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Outside Jones. Here's Marshall. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Jones. Four on the clock. Over Monk. Misses off the right iron. The Lakers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. James passes to Westbrook. Monk against Hayes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. First one falls for him. The energy that Monk brings, I love it. I mean, when he's out on the floor, he's giving you everything he has. Graham's checked in for Marshall. Gabriel, he's checked in for the Lakers. Both shots good from the strike. And New Orleans shooting about 56% in this one. Outside Jones. Pass to Hayes. And here's Valanciunas. Fires for three. And so far in this one, two for four. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Anthony. He's got five. Pass to Monk. There's a screen by Anthony. With a nine-footer. That one drops. Three for six now. We know he can shoot deep. But he also has a nice touch inside, so Monk has a lot of confidence wherever he's shooting the ball from. Here's Jones. Six points for him, and it's good for two. Jones has got eight. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Knocks down the triple. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. New Orleans has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. With some arc, it's stolen by James. And count the basket. He was fouled. 
And he's going to the line for one more. The Pelicans making a switch here. comes to stat sheet stuffers Westbrook is a stat sheet stuffer supreme mark that one up guys here's Murphy pass to Hayes here's Graham now here's Jones here's Murphy just four to shoot shoots over Westbrook no good off the front rim I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. To the middle. James up top. Valanchunas covering. Gabriel's shot is off. For New Orleans, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Jones drives in. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Jones has got four points now in the quarter. He's got a big speed advantage in that matchup. Could be a blow by every single time. Los Angeles has gone two of five from deep here in the second. Pass to Westbrook. It's Monk on the wing. He's got nine. Anthony with a screen on Graham. Now Anthony. Monk passes to Westbrook. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. The Pelicans have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Jones with the ball. Inside. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got four assists in the game. The Lakers trail. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Anthony. Now Monk. Here's Gabriel. Westbrook, the pass to James. Just five to shoot. Fires the three. The Pelicans pull it in. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Pass to Jones. Monk against Graham. And here's Valanchunas. Here's Murphy. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. Westbrook against Graham. Over Graham. The offensive rebound. Pass to Anthony to stop the run. It's Hayes with the rebound. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And the Lakers shooting only 36% during the second. Now James. The Lakers with another miss. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. The Pelicans making a switch here. Nance is checked in. And the Lakers also making a change. Horton Tucker's checked in. And so it's New Orleans with it. Eight-point game. 
And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Here's Horton Tucker. Counted from distance. Horton Tucker's got seven points in the game. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. New Orleans has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Nance outside. Fires the three. Pelicans keep it alive. Now here's Jones. Monk covers. The kick out to Graham. Shot clock at five. Misses the three. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting pretty well at 45%. Pass to Gabriel. Now here's Monk. To the left side wing. Here's Westbrook. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Love it when Westbrook takes it right at the defense like that. Strong and then finishes as well. Some changes for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Hayes. And it's McCollum in for Jones. The Lakers also with a sub. Howard's checked in for Gabriel. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Outside Grant. Pass to McCullum from deep three-point range. Can't get it to drop. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Now, here is James. Augustine, he's checked in for the Lakers. Pelicans on D. They lead by four. Here's Horton Tucker. Seven points in the game. Five to shoot. Spins. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Gordon Tucker's got five points now in the quarter. Outside Graham. Pass to Nance from deep. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got five rebounds in the game. Here's Gordon Tucker. Westbrook with it. He tries for three. Horton Tucker can't hit. Well, New Orleans shooting just around 47% in the second quarter. Pass to Nance. And here's McCollum. Outside Graham. Here's Murphy. A shot to stop the drought. James with the rebound. James has got six rebounds here tonight. Augustine with it. McCollum defends. Dance against James. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Tell you what, if he's within sounding distance of the basket, he's going to get his bucket. You can count on that. And New Orleans shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Graham for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Howard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Horton Tucker. He's got nine. He takes it in. Back to Augustine. Clock at six. Count it. One for one to start the game. And Augustine has that thing on the string now. This dude has rush hour handles gliding through the defense with speed and tightness. And the Pelicans call time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer.
And the Lakers making a change here. Second in opponent points per game. Fifth in blocks. And they landed in the top ten for opponent field goal percentage. They're a team that obviously values a solid team defensive effort and doesn't look to give up a lot of easy looks. And they really put in the work on the defensive end last season to limit their opponent's scoring. They were all business on that side of the floor. One eleven left to play in the first half. Pass to Hernan Gomez. He's covered by Augustine. Hernan Gomez sets a screen. Six on the shot clock. Going inside. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. There's 53 seconds left in the first half. Now, here's Howard. It's James on the wing. He's guarded by Nance. James, that's good. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. He's covered by Augustine. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the half. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot on the wing. And Reeves pulls it down. And here are the Lakers. A 14-2 run over the last bit. Augustine into the lane. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. McCollum right side. He gets it off. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Lakers ahead, up by two. And we'll return shortly. Hey folks, welcome. The Lakers wrap up the first half in what's been a closely contested game so far. We have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit, but tonight they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. All right, and now let's get to this first half and talk about the players who are leading their respective teams. If you could have drawn up an ideal scenario for this game, this would be it. The big dogs trying to one-up each other, neither giving an inch. Everyone in the building and watching at home must be eating this up. You know I am. That'll be our show. On to the third quarter we go. Uh, Ernie with the flow, making those rhymes as he throws, sounding like a pro. Oh, you didn't know? You must have been slow. I didn't mean to rhyme, not like Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, oh, drop the Ernie, mic, drop the mic. We quit, we quit. Broadcast is over. <laughs> and in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. The Lakers in the lead. And the Lakers looking at who they've got. Malik Monk is out there with Russell Westbrook. Then it's Dwight Howard. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Gabriel in at the three. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Left side, Graham. Shoots over Westbrook. Graham, that's good. High degree of difficulty there. Graham somehow stays locked in and focused. Knocks down the shot. Los Angeles shooting at a respectable 49%. Pass to Gabriel. Now Monk. With the crossover, it's tipped. McCullum, the pass to Graham. For the lead. Up again, it's good on the putback. And the Pelicans lead by two. There you go, relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. James passes to Howard. Launches a three. Valanciunas with a rebound. 
Alan Tunis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Yeah, and you know, as LeBron continues his illustrious, remarkable career, the question seems unavoidable. It's inevitable. Him or MJ for greatest of all time. For me, it's a matter of what flavor you like. You can't go wrong with either one. Personally, I know Jordan's got the rings, LeBron's got the career numbers, but I like the fact LeBron is 6'8", 250-plus, and Jordan was only 6'6", 215. I'm going with the bigger guy. And it's Monk, that time on the assist by Westbrook. Monk's got 11. And Monk is fantastic in fast-break situations. Knows exactly where to go and what to do. Pass to Jones. And here's Valanciunas. Five on the clock. For three, McCullum. Counted. Now five of 11 for the game. You know, Clark, it seems LeBron has cemented his top two spot. But many will say he'll never pass Jordan. What do you think? Well, B, I tell you what. I don't have a problem with those folks who say that MJ is the greatest. I can see why people feel that way. And I'm leaning that way, but I love what LeBron has done longevity-wise. Titles are not the only measure for greatness in a team sport. So LeBron would get my nod just by an edge, a whisker, if I had to pick one or the other, him or him. The Lakers have got just two of six in the second half. Pass to Westbrook. It's Monk on the wing. Howard, the pass to Monk. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's five for ten now. And, you know, even with the defense draped all over him, Monk gets it done. I mean, when he's near the basket, he's really focused on scoring. McCollum finds Graham. Jones with the ball. Hayes up top. Graham against Monk. Graham misses. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Stolen by Valanciunas. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Here's McCollum. That one a little long. The Lakers have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. It's James on the wing. Back to Westbrook. It's James on the wing. Over McCollum. And again, no good by the Lakers. And he banks in the layup. McCollum's got five points in the quarter. And using incredible balance and coordination to outduel his opponent, McCollum is no stranger to contested shots. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. McCollum against Monk. Pass to Gabriel. Now here is Howard. Westbrook with a screen on Valanciunas. Four on the clock. Howard finds Westbrook. Here's Gabriel. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. He's got six. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. McCullum outside. Now Valanciunas. Back to McCullum. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Gabriel. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. And the basket by Monk. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. 
They set a pick. Graham against Westbrook. There's McCullum with the three. Nails it from three. McCollum's got 10 points in just the second half. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. Out left to the wing. Here's Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Westbrook has tremendous elevation for a guard. So athletic. And not only does he get high up in the air, he's strong while he's up there. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Graham, the pass to McCollum. Pass to Valentunas. Here's Jones. And here's Valentunas. Pulls it from 20. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Westbrook outside. Howard with the ball. Monk for three. It's Hayes with the rebound. New Orleans has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Good on the bucket. Jones has got five points now this quarter. Major dominance in it. Comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. The Lakers have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. One of the stories here, C.J. McCollum. He's getting it done today. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. Both teams deciding to change it up. And let's take this time to bring up the list of last season's elite shot blocking teams. Fifth on the list, Los Angeles. Now we all know they didn't allow any easy buckets last season. I mean, their defense was tremendous and the rim protection was just outstanding. Here's Horton Tucker. He's got nine. Back to Anthony. Fires from deep. And no good. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. And that's the third game out of four at home for them. Pass to Murphy. Now here's McCollum. He's closely guarded. And he gets that one. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Augustine with it. Here's Reeves. This one for three. Drills it from deep. Five points in the game. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Murphy. Dance against Anthony. Here's Murphy. Five points in the game. Clock at six. 
to the inside. Hernan Gomez. And the layup is good. And the Pelicans lead by four. Throughout the second half, they've achieved excellent efficiency on the offensive end. Yeah, they're in a nice zone right now, and that basket looks, you know it can handle two balls at once. It looks like now it could probably, for them, handle three or four balls at once as well as they're shooting. That's a great move right there. But really, you just expect those kind of plays from him now. Pass to McCollum. Puts up a three. Knocks down the long J. McCollum's got 15 points here in the second half. That's a knockdown outside shooter. McCollum knows he has the green light to fire away from downtown anytime. Now, here is James. Give him eight points now. Right side, Augustine. Driving inside. Second chance effort. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez has got four rebounds in the game. Nance outside. Over to the wing. Oh, there's the alley. Up high and down it goes on the lob. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Well, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelicans. The Lakers trail. And here is Augustine. To the paint. Here's James. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. I love the way James maintains his concentration, even against tight defense there. I mean, looks like the defense had no chance. McCullum outside. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Now Nance. Back to Hernan Gomez. Shot clock at six. McCollum with it. And Anthony picks him up defensively. Goes back up. And McCollum puts it in. McCollum's got 25 points. Things started to click for him in the second half. You can tell the focus and the intent is all there. There's a screen by Anthony. And the basket by Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got 11 points. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. 143 left in the third. That's the screen. Here's the floater. James, outside. There's a screen by Anthony. James with the ball. Hernan Gomez there. Shots good by James. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Pass to McCullum. Now here's Hernan Gomez. 
He's covered by Augustine. That's the screen. Just five to shoot. Oh, got a piece of it. McCollum on the left side. Over Anthony. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. That one on Anthony. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for New Orleans. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. They've also worked very hard to get the ball inside and have been able to get and hit a lot of high percentage shots in this game. The free throw drops for McCollum. McCollum's carved out an impressive NBA career for himself, and I think he's still ascending. He was the 10th pick in the 2013 NBA draft. He's still got plenty of upside. Now here's Anthony. Here's James. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Shooting two. Misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Here's Horton Tucker to the middle. And it's James with the jam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers. Momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. It's stolen by James. Here's Reeves. Back to Horton Tucker. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. C.J. McCollum has been leading the charge for New Orleans. He's found his range, hitting three triples in the quarter. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. To talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Hayes is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Devontae Graham, and it's Jones in at the three. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Now here's Graham. And he comes up with a bucket. And the Pelicans lead by five. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Westbrook, the pass to Anthony. Monk for three. Pure from three-point range. Monk's got 19 points. You've got to be up on Monk all the time. I mean, even when the pass has not gotten to him yet, you need to be there before it arrives because he's ready to let it go when he catches it. Now here's Graham. 
pass to Valentunas. Now Graham, outside Jones. And here's Valentunas. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Westbrook with it. Back to Monk to take the lead. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now here's Hayes. Back to Graham. Inside. Here's Jones. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Pass to Horton Tucker. Outside Monk for three. Good. He's been great in this one. Nine for 15 after that shot. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Valentunas. Back to Hayes. Pass to Graham. And they double up Graham. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's his third foul of the game. And here are the Pelicans now. Trailing by two. Just five on the clock. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Now here's Hayes to the wing, right side. Pass to Graham. Here's Hayes, six to shoot. Now here's Graham from deep. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Anthony finds Westbrook. Here's Horton Tucker. Puts it up. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Saturday, they'll defend the home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And on Sunday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Lakers. Shooting two. The first one falls. And you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky, small forward with a quick trigger release and elite score. Anthony drops them both. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Valentunas against Howard. Shot clock at 5. Here's Jones. It counts! And the foul! Dwight Howard picks one up. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. Well, it's been a super performance from beyond the arc, too. I mean, they've been reining in those threes. Shooting one. The Lakers have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Westbrook, the pass to Anthony. Now Monk, the three ball. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hayes has got rebound number eight now. Outside Grant. Pass to Hayes. Valachunas against Howard. Six on the shot clock. 
Graham is doubled. Fires high post. Jones misses. Los Angeles has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Valachunas against Howard. Back to Horton Tucker. Pass to Monk. Now here's Anthony. Hits a three-pointer. And the Lakers lead by four. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Now here's Hayes. Jones with the ball. And the Lakers making a change here. Gabriel's checked in. So it's the Pelicans now. Hayes with a screen on Westbrook. Into the lane. Pass to Hayes. Four on the clock. Here's Jones. Ooh, Howard with a block. Westbrook outside. Here's Gabriel. Three-pointer. He can't hit that time. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Graham misses. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. The shot off that time. Nice D from Valanciunas. Pounded by Westbrook. Outside Jones. To the left wing. The 15-footer. Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Monk. Westbrook outside. And here's Anthony. Monk passes to Anthony. The Lakers with another miss. The Pelicans trail. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Hayes. Outside Jones. Back to Hayes. Over Howard. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. And here's Westbrook. Outside Monk. Let's the three fly. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pelicans. Hurts to see that kind of mistake. Coach is going to be on him about that one. McCollum, he's checked in for Graham. And the Lakers also making a change. James is checked in for Anthony. Pounded by Westbrook. Now Hayes. Back to Jones. Pass to McCollum. Hayes with a screen. Now here's Valanciunas. And they get it back. Here's Jones. Out to McCollum to take the lead. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Monk into the lane. Sweet little floater. Monk's got 11 points in the quarter. Boy, Monk has a really nice feel for when he should go to that floater. New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4.
And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Over the last break, I listened to the Pelicans coach address his team. He instructed his guys to buckle down, saying, quote, it's do or die time. Let's stay focused and finish like it's a playoff game. We'll see if they can pull it off. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Allie. Draws the double. Down low. Valachunas against Howard. Pass to McCullum. Clock at six. Now Valanchunas. Hayes for three. No good that time. On offense, here are the Lakers. They're on a 16-7 run. Westbrook, the pass to James. Outside Monk. Here's Howard. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Now it's a six-point Laker lead. Imposing his will down there. Howard feels like he can score anytime he wants from this area. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. First free throw is good. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Here's Gabriel. Gets the three to fall. And the Lakers lead by seven. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Now, here is James. Driving in over Hayes. Valanchunas with a rebound. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. And the Lakers have possession. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Howard, the screen. Westbrook with it. Guarded by Valanchunas. Westbrook with the miss. The Pelicans trail. McCullum outside. On the wing, Jones. Back to McCullum. And McCullum slams it in. Man, an unpredictable defensive assignment in the half court. McCullum can score from pretty much anywhere. The Lakers have gone 7-14 of here in the fourth from the floor. Hook loose. On the break to take the lead. And he sinks the layup. This is the very definition of a back and forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Los Angeles shooting at even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. A minute 50 left in the game. Over to the left wing. There's Howard with the three. Drops in the three. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes.
The Pelicans making a switch here. Graham's checked in. McCollum against Monk. McCollum outside. Here's Hayes. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Hayes has gotten four this quarter. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Hayes against James. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. 121 left to play in the fourth quarter. McCullum against Monk. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Hayes, the pass to McCullum. Back to Hayes. Over Howard. Hayes misses. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Monk finds James. Pass to Westbrook. Shot clock at six. Here's Monk from outside the arc. No good on the shot. McCullum against Monk. McCullum pass to Graham. LeBron with the rebound. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Howard with a screen on Hayes. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. And again, New Orleans, no good. And they go to the intentional foul. Here's Westbrook. 
So we see the Lakers get the win here. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.